This is Dr. Harry Anderson. I'd like to visit with you a little bit about ulcers in horses. This is a subject that would take an hour to cover completely, but I'd like to do just a few snippets on it. Ulcers come from two or three things. Diet, environment, amount of stress, and of course those are intertwined. Stress can cause ulcers. And, and this, this is coming from uh, a nutritional aspect that, that I, how I view it, and that is if we push on a horse and make them nervous, there's excess uh, acid produced in the stomach. If we produce excess acid, we cause an irritation. I know myself, if I get nervous, I have acid. I get uncomfortable. I get cranky. And that's what they do also. You can usually tell when a horse is, is probably bothered by ulcers because when you give them under a little bit of stress, they get a little bit cantankerous. They just don't feel good. Or they might, they might wince in their belly when you, when you pull that, that cinch up. That, well, they're just a little bit tender. But, but a lot of this comes farts from, from the uh, nervousness and the acid production. Now, this is a simple layman's viewpoint. But if you have the acid and you have the irritation, and the irritation makes the horse more nervous, the more nervous the horse gets, the more acid they produce, the more acid they produce, and this goes back and forth until we have a real serious problem. Once there's an irritation in that gut lining, all of a sudden, now it becomes serious, and that's where you get the bleeding ulcers and the serious ones. But uh, that, that is still is just a compounding of these factors. So we first of all, if we can re reduce the nervousness of the horse, we'll help somewhat. Then the other way we do this is if we're pouring a lot of raw starch into that gut all the time, we do create acid. The presence of starch causes the, the animal to produce acid in the stomach. And this again, we start to get this back and forth with nervousness, the acid, the starch, and now we have this circle going where we have all this. So if we can reduce the raw starch, it'll help. Reduce the nervousness, that'll help. Now, I've talked in other places about reducing the nervousness with a product called Ascophyllum nodosum, which does, helps the nervous system. But this Ascophyllum nodosum also helps the gut environment uh, with, and be a little more stable so that we don't uh, have that uh, up and down of the gut environment to cause the nervousness. So if we want to control ulcers, we have to control the environment. We have to watch that diet and keep the raw starch out of the diet. And this is one place where extruded feeds come in. If you have an extruded feed, you don't have any raw starch. Even though you have the energy, even though you have the starch in there, it's not raw. It does not cause this high acid production. And you reduce a lot of the things that we associate with causing an ulcer. So if you look around, Take those things away from the environment, usually you will not have an ulcer. However, if you still have ulcer problems, there are many ways to do it. There are many good products on the market. Work with your veterinarian and select one uh, to use uh, to control the acid that you may have to uh, give them on a daily basis, but that can be done.